Howdy howdy legends, Zephyr here, and welcome back to another Apex Legends Pro Guides video. Today, we're taking an updated look at our Apex Legends weapon tier list to reflect the current state of play after the launch of Season 13 Saviors. But first, our question of the day. If you could put one weapon into the care package, what would it be and why? D tier. These weapons should only be used in a pinch and aren't viable for use later in the game. Off drop, you can make do, but try and swap them out quickly when you can. P2020. At the start of the match, the P2020 can be a weapon you quickly pick up and start shooting with, but the P2020 just isn't useful enough to bring with you after that moment. You'll lose almost every single gunfight, leaving you vulnerable. When it comes to our Apex weapon tier list, the P2020 is the bottom of the barrel. EVA 8. This weapon just doesn't do it for most players. You'll struggle to find anyone who'd use an EVA over a Peacekeeper, and many would even rather run a Car SMG or a Prowler than use an EVA this season. This heavily nerfed shotgun can still have an impact with the right attachments, but unfortunately, it's still not as strong as it was before. It does have a fast fire rate and can be good for running and gunning gameplay, but you'll do better with almost anything else. Mozambique The Mozambique has improved over the seasons, but it's still just not worth picking up. It's not accurate enough to be a good pistol, and it doesn't have enough spread to be a good shotgun. However, with the hammer point attachment, the Mozambique is easily a B-tier weapon, but this hop-up can be hard to find. Looking for an expert opinion on what weapons Apex Predators use? Pro Guides has expert Apex Predator coaches on deck to advance your gameplay. They can help spot flaws, give you detailed knowledge, and direct you on how to best spend your time to take your Apex ability to the next level. Pro Guides is your one-stop shop for all things Apex Legends, as well as high-quality coaches that are in-game tips and guides suitable for any level of player. So whatever your gameplay needs, we've got you covered. Why not sit down with an Apex Predator and get their opinion on what your perfect weapon is? Check out the link in the description, and let's go! C tier. These weapons are alright. They're either here because they require specific attachments to be good, or they're outclassed by a similar weapon. 3030 Repeater. This rifle has been a bit underwhelming. It's good, but it just doesn't excel at anything specifically, meaning it gets overlooked by other weapons in most scenarios. Still, the 3030 Repeater does have extra shots and a 35% damage boost if you charge your shot by aiming down the sights. The recent changes to the shatter caps make it much more usable, but that requires finding the hop up. Devotion. With the fastest fire rate in the game, the Devotion has potential. It needs a lot of attachments to be amazing, but it's truly incredible once they are equipped. With the turbocharger, which is extremely rare, the Devotion is A-tier easily and one of the best guns in the game. This is even despite a range of nerfs to the weapon's stats prior to Season 13. The Bow Check The Bow Check Bow is a hard weapon to use. The method of holding back the arrow and then releasing can feel unnatural to Apex players. While the Bow Check Bow does significant damage, it's not going to compare to weapons like the R301 Flatline or Rampage. The recent changes to shatter caps can make the bow effective at close range, but you'd be better served by a PK or one of the SMGs. RE45 eh, The RE45 has great fire rate, but it does very little damage per round. It's barely used in the Battle Royale, but sometimes has its perks in arena matches since it costs very little crafting materials. With the reintroduced hammer point hop up, the RE45 can pack a more significant punch to cracked enemies, and it is a B tier when that is equipped. Alternator The Alternator can definitely do some real damage thanks to its decent stats. The problem is it doesn't compete with weapons like the R301, Car, and Flatline. In the early game, though, the Alternator is a very suitable weapon. B tier B tier weapons are strong enough and would serve you well throughout the entire game. Havoc the Havoc is sorta of nuts. The recent changes to recoil make it much more manageable. With high tier attachments, the Havoc has the right firing rate to cause some chaos. If you can manage the recoil and find a turbocharger, the Havoc is seriously deadly. With a turbocharger, the Havoc is easily an A tier. Charge Rifle The Charge Rifle is explosive and it's even able to destroy red Evo shields with its beam of energy. The Charge Rifle is ammo hungry, but powerful. The hit-scan nature of the weapon makes it reasonably easy to use. 
One member of your squad can easily farm up the whole team's Evo shields up from gray to purple. It's also really annoying to be shot by, so enjoy shredding your opponent's mental as well as their health. Sentinel. The bolt-loaded Sentinel requires a player with good aim. If that sounds like you, this weapon is just as good as the longbow. It's a strong sniper that can eliminate teams from afar in the right hands. Charging your Sentinel with shield cells makes the weapon very powerful, but this is only limited to a small number of shots. Hemlock. If you know how to aim, the Hemlock is pretty darn good and even slightly OP. The boosted loader hop-up makes the Hemlock's reload speeds faster and gives it extra rounds if reloaded at a precise time. The change to hipfire spread makes the Hemlock even more reliable at close range, so if you stopped using it after its nerfs, maybe it's time to give it a second look. Rampage The Rampage is a strong weapon and when charged with a Thermite is A tier. The slow fire rate can hold the Rampage back at times, but its large magazine size and solid damage numbers means that this weapon is strong at mid-range even when uncharged. Despite being in the crafter and getting some nerfs like the rest of the LMGs, the Rampage is still a pretty solid weapon. R99 The R99 is a close-range weapon that thrives with an extended magazine. This is a weapon for players that enjoy running right into the action thanks to a faster fire rate. However, after the introduction of the car and the Volt, the R99 is a less impressive choice than in the earlier seasons of Apex Legends. Longbow This consistent Apex sniper has a high fire rate and does great damage. Now back in floor loot, the Longbow can really pack a punch. However, the recent buff to helmets does knock it down into the B tier. L-Star This energy weapon, like all LMGs, took some nerfs coming into Season 13. However, it still has decent damage potential and solid hipfire spread when used at close range. But do keep in mind, however, that the L-Star is pretty hard to aim from afar now due to the nerfs. A tier. These weapons are the ones you want to keep your eyes out for when looting. Top choices and strong in almost any scenario. Prowler. A favorite of controller players, the Prowler was removed from the care package in Season 10. Its burst fire is very strong, but only effective at close range, even after the nerfs back in mid-2021. One drawback is there is no single fire mode, and each burst is 5 bullets, meaning if you're not landing your shots, you will run out of ammo very quickly. Triple Take Season 12 was the Triple Take's time to shine once again thanks to the Kinetic Feeder hop-up, and it's still set to be very strong this season. The triple take can be automatically reloaded with this attachment and the choke time is reduced. Not having to break focus when using this marksman makes it all the more powerful. It can also double up as a pretty sturdy shotgun when needed. Peacekeeper Legends looking for a shotgun should grab the Peacekeeper. This is a powerful weapon that does insane damage. Aim down the sights to reduce the shotgun's pellet spread, making each shot incredibly damaging. The PK is almost a requirement for players that enjoy getting an opponent's personal space. Plus, with the Mastiff in the care package and the EVA 8 being about as dangerous as being struck by a leaf, there isn't really much choice. Wingman The Wingman has a very high skill ceiling, but can be deadly in the right hands. Find an extended mag and the boosted loader hop-up and you're good to go in almost any situation. The helmet buff does reduce its damage potential a bit, but you're just cooler when you're using the wingman. Car SMG This is a great weapon with the right attachments. Using the weapon as is can be a bit tricky, but a barrel stabilizer will have you gunning down enemies left and right. It takes both light and heavy ammo, making it a versatile choice. This is especially useful now that the R301 is in the crafter, and light ammo might be a little bit harder to find in the late game. I'll tell you what though, controller car players, they definitely keep me up at night. G7 Scout The G7 Scout was a controversial choice for the care package. The biggest concern was the low ammo count that your care package G7 Scout came with. This has since been buffed, however, a single fire or double tap weapon is not as easy to use as an automatic. Plus, at close range, the G7 can literally be hit or miss. It's still a strong choice with high damage, and it's favored by Gibraltar players in a pinch. R301 Carbine Despite being locked away in the crafter and light ammo being scarce in the late games, the R301 is still all reliable. 
The R3 is considered a pretty well-rounded weapon that's powerful in mid-range combat. The carbine really shines when you have the right attachments, so be on the lookout for a mid-range scope and an extended magazine. With very little recoil, you can easily mow down enemies from a safe distance. However, the R301 is ammo hungry, and light, as we said, is harder to find in Season 13. Plus, its average damage stats mean you'll need to hit the majority of your shots to take down enemy players in one magazine. S-Tier Weapons These bad boys are broken. Pick them up at all costs, and I promise you great results are guaranteed. Mastiff The Care Package Mastiff is back. Dealing 112 to the body and reloading in a pinch, the Mastiff is truly terrifying. Gibraltar and Mastiff is basically a cheat code, and it comes with a pretty solid amount of ammo. Best shotgun in the game by far. Flatline. Back on the floor at last. This beloved heavy weapon has an incredible fire rate. The damage stats have been slightly reduced since it was last on the floor from 19 to 18 damage, but it still is a favorite weapon for players who want a versatile one with good mid and close range potential. In this heavy ammo dominated season, the flatline is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. The Spitfire. <laughs> that is all you'll be hearing this season as everyone is running this tank of an LMG. Despite not having a barrel stabilizer anymore and several nerfs to the weapon's handling, it is still truly broken. The Spitfire is almost a surefire win in most gunfights if played correctly. It does take a bit to reload, but in the right hands, the Spitfire is unstoppable. Volt SMG The Volt SMG was already quite powerful in previous seasons, but Season 12 and its entry into the care package provided the weapon with a good buff. The damage was increased from 15 to 17, and the magazine size rising from 28 to 30. This energy weapon is a bit chaotic, but it'll always wreak havoc in the hands of a skilled player. A real late-game demon, it can run out of ammo if used too soon, but you'll be frying in close-range situations with this weapon for sure. The Kraber Okay, sure. It's not what it was before, but this sniper rifle still packs a punch. It might not always be one shot kill to the head, but 140 to the body is still hefty and you can use a good Kraber headshot to really close the gap in a team. Still by far the best gun in the game for pure damage potential. You'll just have to follow it up a bit more after the nerf. And that is all for our Season 13 Weapons tier list. I've been Zephyr, and I'll see you soon for more Apex Legends content.